Hey people, this video is how to use MV Flash to flash a BIOS on your uh, 1080 Ti. It should work for a 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, and a Pascal Titan X. So the first thing you want to do is go to my webpage, and you'll see the MV Flash 5.370. Download that, and then also download the Best BIOS collection above it. It has all the best biases for the 1080 Ti, and uh, you want to put them in a folder on your C drive. So I actually put them in uh, the NV Flash folder on my C drive, as you see here on C drive, I made an NV Flash folder, and I put all those files in there. And then the next thing you want to do is uh, go to CMD and run. Just type in CMD, and you'll see the command prompt come up. Right click on that, choose Run as a Min, as you see here, and it'll open up in the System 32 folder. And then you want to uh, CD space C colon forward slash NV flash, and it'll go to your NV flash folder. It'll say you're in there. And then I just copied and pasted from my webpage NV flash uh, minus six. And uh, I'm doing that now. I'm just recording the audio separately because my mic's broken, recorded it on my phone. Uh, so I copied and pasted NV flash minus six into the CMD folder. And uh, then I typed in the first letter of the BIOS I want to flash, which in this case is an X. And then I hit the tab key and you'll see it'll fill out automatically. And uh, then I just hit uh, enter and it flash the BIOS. It'll take a minute to flash. Uh, take a minute to actually do that because I wasn't sure if it was going to record, but apparently it did. And then when the black screen comes up or your screen messes up, just hit the Y key twice. It automatically disables your device driver. And then after it flashes, um, you'll see it says uh, reboot to apply the changes. It'll show that in a minute. Just give it a sec. Should be doing that soon. Like I said, I'm recording the audio separately, so I added a little bit of a different narrative there. So you just hit the Y key twice. It says that it flashed successfully, and then a reboot required to update the effect. And then the next thing you want to do is reboot. I uh, use DDU, which is also on the main page to uh, uninstall your device drivers and make sure when you're uninstalling you choose to reboot into safe mode option you'll need your uh, your windows login not just your pin but your uh, email address and and password to log into windows in safe mode and then you uninstall the drivers also before you do that choose uh, Choose uh, uninstall GeForce Experience first, then no to uh, exit the program, and then uninstall the drivers, reboot, do a clean install of the drivers, and you're done. Hope this helps people.